I, uh, some of you have heard, I, I, sh I shared the story a little while ago how just a few months ago I was working in my front yard fixing some things and some Jehovah's Witnesses come by and they say, hey, can we talk to you? And I'm fixing this. of course. How can I? Yeah, I, I'm, I got some things to say to you too. You know, let's, <laughs> let's, let's talk. No, seriously, because I, I just think, here's some human beings. I, I need to love on them. They're trying to love on me. And, and so they start sharing some things. And I just said, hey, can I tell you? Can I, I just tell you a couple things that God's done in my life recently? Just, just a couple things. I mean, this will blow your mind. Let me just tell you about some answers to prayer that just happened like last week. And this lady goes, you know, God doesn't listen to everyone's prayers. And I said, you know what? Actually, biblically, you're right on. I go, James 1 says that if we doubt, he's not going to listen to us. James 4 says if, if we ask with the wrong motives, he's not going to listen to us. 1 Peter 3 says if I don't honor my wife, Man, my, my prayers are going to be hindered. He, he says in Isaiah 58, if I don't care for the poor, it doesn't mean if I fast and pray. He's not listening. Yeah, I go in Amos, he says, ah, oh, I don't even want to hear the noise of your songs. You, you know, I'm not going to listen to that. He, he says, if my people would humble themselves, you know, and, and turn from their wicked ways. I mean, there's conditions. Says, You're absolutely right. He does not listen to every prayer. But he listens to mine. I, and, I, and I said, and I, I tell this one story of this thing that happened, and she's like, wow. I go, explain that. Why does he listen to me? You know? And, and, and she goes, let's get out of here. And so <laughs> her and her friends start walking away. I go, actually, if you don't mind, I'd like to walk with you, because I have some more stories. <laughs> and... Uh, because I didn't want them to just walk away. I want them to know, I just want people to know this Jesus because there's nothing like answered prayer. There's nothing like, no way. I just spoke to God and he listened to me. I mean, that's my favorite thing on earth. When I ask for something, I go, shut up. God just listen to me and look what he did you can't explain this away and so I'm telling them these stories as I'm walking with them man I went like a block and a half just telling them and and one of them looks at me she goes she goes what are you because you're one of them Pentecostals <laughs> and I go don't worry about it I, I go here's all you need to know about me I'm a human being just like you and I get alone with that book. I get alone with the Bible and I just read it and, and, and I see stuff I'm supposed to do and I do it and I, and I pray to that God in that Bible, that Jesus who died on that cross for me. And, and I, just, I, I just read that and I pray to him and he listens to me and he's changed me and, and everything he's done in my life, I, it just blows my mind. And she goes, that's your problem. That was literally what she goes, that's your problem. She goes, you read that book by yourself. She goes, you can't understand that book unless one of our leaders explains it to you. And I said, see, that's your problem. <laughs> no. I said, you're putting all of your trust in someone else. I go, do you understand this is about your eternity? This is about heaven and hell and you are putting all your trust in what someone else tells you. And, and you understand, man, I think we, some of us in the room do this. Some of the things we believe and do and hold so dear is not because we found it in this book. It's just because someone told us, and I'm, and I'm not saying that we don't listen to people who know more than we do. Man, I, I think there's a time to listen, um, but, but at the same time, you know, I, I see a, a lot of believers just grabbing on and listening to someone because they're a popular speaker, or listening to someone because he's a good singer, someone appears really intelligent, you know, quote some Greek words that you don't know any better, you're like, okay, I guess and you just start listening and you just follow these supposed scholars and, and, and just like I told those ladies, I go, look, you would never come up with some of these conclusions if you just read this book over and over again. You, I mean, right now, you guys believe that Michael and Jesus are the same person. 
You really would have got that from the Bible? You only believe that because someone told you. If you put this verse over here, isn't that kind of the same? Yeah, I, I go, man, just read it for yourself. 